Welcome back to Offbeat After Dark with Maid of Scare. So far this game has been very well made of scares. But, we're going to try to stop being such a little bitch and make some progress today. Henry's dead. I have no key. They're stomping all around up above me. Also, this door right here seems like it leads to a hallway that leads to that exact same room. So I'm curious if I'll die or not, if I go this way. I'm gonna need you to stop that! <laughs> oh, I did not like... What is this? What are you? You're making so much noise. Probably gonna have to come back to you and turn you on at some point. What are you? Elevator? Oh, that's loud. I didn't like that. I don't like this. This is actually pretty freaking scary. <laughs> What's in the elevator? Oh, nothing. I'm going to guess that I can't get the cylinder then because it looks as though this is the way I'm supposed to go. But we're, so we're gonna check and see if I actually can get to the chapel where the cylinder says it is. At least I'm assuming that's what that little icon is. Could really use a flashlight or something, you know? So is this door locked? It's not. What the fuck? The Williams Family Bible. Canst thou draw Leviathan with an with an hook, or is his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? Canst thou put an hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Will thou take him for a servant forever? Wilt thou play with him as with a bird? Or wilt thou bind him for thy mistress? Shall she make a banquet of him? Shall she partake of him among others? Canst thou fill his skin with hot iron? Therefore I will wail and howl. I will go stripped and naked. I will make a wailing like the dragons and mourning as the sirens. That's a Bible? <laughs> Cylinder Cerberus. I can't help but feel like taking that is a guaranteed way to get my ass chased. Okay, 
Okay, so clearly I'm gonna have a key for you. That's cool. It feels like there's shit like all around me at all times based on just the noises that I'm hearing. So the question is do I take the cylinder back to that main hall or do I take the elevator? I guess let's try going the other way. Let's explore this entire first floor, right? Because it's in this room, it indicates that all those other doors are locked, but it doesn't say the door across the hall is locked. This door. Elevator it is. Because uh, according to that, I have no other means of progression. Right? So now something is definitely going to chase me, though. Now that I have the cylinder, I'm going down this hallway, right? Like, the elevator is going to be a fucking escape route. Because I swear I heard banging against that window there. When I was going for the power. Right? Elevator it is. Like, I don't know if I'm actually scared yet. I think I'm just really... I don't know what I'm up against. Like, I haven't actually seen an enemy of any kind yet. And so I'm, like, apprehensive to move forward. I probably relax more once I have an idea of what I'm actually against. It's just been, like, ambience. I'm assuming this door means safe, like, safe room. Like, phonograph, right? Yeah, that's what these doors mean. like a Silent Hill situation where they have a maid whom sings or whatever to 
kind of soothe the demons or whatever, and because she's re well, more specifically, I should dictate like this is like Silent Hill Homecoming kind of Silent Hill, but uh. Oh shit! Oh, are you coming for me? Oh, you're leaving with him, okay. Oh, I'm in pain. I got hit by some stray glass there. Objective updated. Look for cylinders around the hotel and follow the men. That's gonna be a negative from me there, Cap. That be not a man I saw. That be a fucking monster. I'm just trying to extrapolate exposition and shit, and then that happens, you know, just fuck it. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, Homecoming. Um, where there was a pact with the monsters of Silent Hill. Where as long as the eldest... Was it the eldest or was it the youngest? I think I, the youngest child of each of the founding families was sacrificed in a specific way. Then the beasts of Silent Hill would kinda... Nervous tonic. So is that how I heal? R1 to heal. Yep. Oh, so I don't get hurt, I get scared. <laughs> okay, Amnesia. Uh, so, as long as the youngest child of the founding families was sacrificed each generation, then the beasts of Silent Hill would, you know, leave the families be and the town would be safe. But, uh, when you get to your particular place in the story, you find out that these sacrifices were incomplete because your family didn't ever actually provide a sacrifice. So, and that's why the monsters of Silent Hill are attacking, so it's like, because we haven't... because she refuses to sing, basically, the whole place like is being overtaken by the dark power that would usually be subdued by her voice sort of thing I hate these I hate that this is this game's idea of a collectible. This is horrible. It makes me so uncomfortable. Fuck it. Ugh. Oh, fuck everything about this. Hello. Isaac's Ledger, Deaths and Disappearances. Description of men. June, Mr. and Mrs. Wainscope. Only couple, no children. Devin, closed. Two out of six. Trick is two out of three. Charlatan? Cheltenham? Unlikely to be missed. Fire again. Nothing salvageable. Traveling alone. Bristol. Oh, so this is like a ledger of every, like, person who stayed at the hotel. So they determine whether or not this person, when they check in, would have a... Oh, musician traveling alone. A musician asking too many questions. Very evasive. Why? So basically, they kind of take note of everything about the person that when they check into the hotel and determine whether or not they would be missed. And as a result, also will take their shit. OK, 
Okay, so I'm getting pretty close to the hallway where they were. Also, this thing. Is that a map? It is a map. Okay, so that hallway I'm coming up on is actually a dead end. The way the way that they went. Mm. I probably don't actually want to go that way, huh? Fucking locked doors. Phone's ringing. I thought he was gonna like burst through this and start chasing me, honestly. But I guess the tutorials aren't done yet. Still, if they react to sound, this might be my first actual chase sequence because I'm following one of the fucking monsters and the phone's ringing. I'm here. There was someone else in the attic outside the door, but uh, I think they've gone now. I don't. But you must look to yourself first, Thomas. If you should be caught too... They seem to be drawn to sound. You must remain quiet. But why? What do you think is wrong with them? I, I knew noise attracted them, but... What happened to their faces? Dear God, that's horrific! I dread to think of you being snatched like that too. Our one hope of helping him, helping all of them, is finding the cylinders. Well done, my love! There's hope yet for us all. The others should be here in the hotel, or in the grounds. Please, take the utmost care. And if I don't answer, it means I've had to hide. That they've come back. Okay, so they can't see. They can only hear. I wonder if they pick up on mic chatter. Like if I, my talking will fuck me over. played a game like that once, called Stifled. Great fucking game, I would recommend anyone look into it. To where you basically had to create sounds to kind of echolocate in the world, because it was otherwise pitch black. But the monsters could follow your voice, and the noises that you made, like, they would track you through it. So it was like... Ah! Uh, don't kill me! Ah! Uh. It, it was pretty funny. Oh. Hello. Meat locker. Okay, so there was no sense in coming this way, right? Because this is where their hallway ended. This was following the men. Unless if now they're somehow behind me, in which case, you know, that's a horror game for you. And my guess would be I have to hide and try to sneak away. I really should have shut doors behind me. Or not, because the doors creak and make noise. Maybe that would alert them. I'm 
guessing I have to kind of give him a little, uh, little roundabout here because the two doors that link back to this hallway. Where am I going? I'm assuming his immense strength is going to break those ways that are blocked off. And then I kind of give him a little, a little rope-a-dope and go down that, uh, that other hallway that's blocked off because that's probably where he's going to come from. Because he looked pretty freaking strong. So I'd probably go down this hallway and he's probably here now, right? And then I gotta run. I mean, there's not really anywhere else to go the other way. Unless he dragged him into that locked room. Maybe it's not locked anymore. Actually, no, I probably should have seen if I could follow, like, a blood trail or something. There's no blood here. There's the blood. Well, so I'm assuming based on the way the trail is that he went straight ahead. Then he's dripping. Okay, so yes, I'm following the blood. I don't think he made it to the meat locker. Did he? Or is it somewhere in here? So the blood definitely says he went this way. But I don't see any more blood. He just kind of vanished. He stopped bleeding. <laughs> He patched him up on the way through, like, eh, don't worry, buddy, I'll take care of you. Unless if it's one of these bodies. Am I checking bodies now? Oh! There's another door in the back. Oh, I don't like this. It's dark in here. <clears throat> That guy looked pretty big. Can he can he even fit through here? Oh fuck! So now I can hold my breath and stop breathing. Okay, so yeah, so the way he would have just run. Unless if I crawl out behind him. I didn't even think to check that. I thought, like, oh, I guess I'm going back now. I might actually be able to just climb out that hole now that he's gone. Well, 
Oh no, there's just there's just further path. We got a dead end over here, and something down at the end of the hall that I obviously need to activate. But he went down that way. Okay. Little vent. Can I work with these now? Oh, that was loud. Now where's this going? I apologize for trying to be so thorough. I like exploring. Can they follow me into vents? Is that that guy? So yeah, I don't want to inhale whatever that was because it makes me cough, and if I'm coughing... Henry Hughes, music sheet. Okay. Healy tonic. Do I need to heal? My screen doesn't look red. Oh, this is going to make so much noise. This time we're going to close the door behind me and make our way upstairs. Where, oh, where am I going now? How many cylinders did you say there were? <laughs> I just realized I had no clue. Oh look, a safe spot. Just in time too, I'm actually at time limit. I think she turned into an accordion. That was weird. Anyway, we're outside. It's nice and... Outside. And, uh, yeah. See you next time at Offbeat After Dark.